Hi, uh, welcome again to Mastering the Art of Contemporary Art. Um, this is an ongoing program where we are talking to artists here in Denmark um, about their artistic process and breaking one piece of artwork down as a recipe for then you to be able to go home and make and come back and display here. Uh, my name is Sean Naftel. This is Johanna Skobu. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate you doing that. Um, and so the piece that we're talking about is called? Mutual Linker. Okay. And it's a part of a series that I called uh, Hazy Memory Pools. Okay. And it's, it's a great name. It's a, well, it's a casting actually, a plaster casting, okay. a casted plaster of this uh, working bucket. Okay. All right. So yeah. So it's just this is like just a normal kind of like studio bucket that you would just yeah. store things in or mix things. I guess you probably wouldn't normally mix things in this. You would probably just store bits and yeah. pieces in Yeah. Sometimes it. yeah, it's actually more yeah. for yeah, for storage, but Okay. The day I started this, I, I didn't have any other thing to mix it in, so okay. I just grabbed this one and it was actually a part of a, another process where I was mixing some plaster and stuff for another, uh, like, no, form. Another form, yes. Yeah. And then I just, I left it by mistake and the day after I, yeah, it, I took it out and found out it was really nice, so. Yeah, well that's a happy accident. And, and yeah. actually m many of my, it's, it's really like my process is like that. Many of my work pieces are, yeah. it's just happening kind okay. of. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, looking at the work that we have here, kind of these examples of this repetitive form, it does kind of feel like all of a sudden you find something and it just kind of happens. Like yeah. It's just that kind of moment where it speaks to you a little bit. And it's and often, going. yeah, it's yeah. often during a process for, for one piece, something for the next piece happens. Yeah, like, that makes yeah. sense. So it's Great. like yeast in a way, you take a little bit of, yeah. of one, or baking soda, what do you yeah. say, for, for one uh, sculpture and put it in another. Yeah. So yes. what are the materials that we need to do so this? To, yeah. Here, so today you need, to make this piece, you need some kind of plaster mix. Does it matter what kind? No. Really? It can be. For me it doesn't, but yeah. Okay. But you could, it, it really is about trying out the material yourself. So the, uh, I think it's important maybe to buy some different kinds uh, of, of products okay. and try it on at home or where you'd make the piece. Yeah. Uh, but it, I uh -huh. think the direction is on the, actually on the, on the, the back, back. But, but it's about uh, two pieces, like two, two parts of plaster, one part of water. Okay. I do it sometimes a little bit more sloppy because yeah, it's like baking bread, you know, you have that feeling and... Yeah, once it's right, it's, yeah. you know it's, it's the right way. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I work. I don't use recipes that much, so okay. yeah. Well, that's perfect, because I think that's yeah. part of this thing is that we're really kind of understanding that like these pieces can kind of... You were giving a recipe, but that doesn't mean that you can't alter that recipe in some sort of way to kind of make it your own. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the same thing. So you can say the recipe is really the experiment in yeah, a way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so before we, we mix the plaster with water because it's, it takes about 20 minutes to dry and then you can't work with it anymore. Okay. I, before that, I uh, normally pre I prepare the paint because I would like to add some color into it because I also, I'm also very interested in actually painting. Okay. And in a way, make it Sculpture and painting. Yeah. 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 So th I take. F it's very important that it's acrylic paint because oil paint won't. It will kind of destroy the the mixture. It won't dry. So acrylic paint, and I actually I buy the some of the cheap ones because it have uh, it has uh, a lot of binder in it and yeah. it's it just works very. And good it's really it. thin. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, so I just mix it with water, uh -huh. and I use a lot actually of, of paint, but it, it should be a little bit thinner than you, the one you buy because it should work. Be it works better with the plaster if it's quite thin, as like juice or ketchup or something like that. Okay. So just a little bit in it. 
something like. So you're almost making like a, a touche, like a, a wash yeah. out of all this. And, but it, because of the binder, it works slightly different with the plaster. It, uh, if, you, if you compare it with ink that, or water, it's ecoline, it's like a touche or something yeah. like that. Because it kind of um, works itself through the plaster and this just sticks to the plaster. You can ah, say that. Okay. So it has it, uh, each uh, kind of painting. Uh, paint is uh, working different ways. So I'm going to add both of both different uh, kinds of material to the plaster because it gives uh, two two different. How can you say maybe strokes in a way? Yeah, two different qualities. Yeah, different, yeah, that makes sense. Like using two different brushes in a painting. Okay. You can see. Yeah. I like that mm -hmm. you're using these references to painting because it does, these seem as much, these actually seem more like paintings. Yeah. Even and the process feels more like a painting than it does a, a sculpture. Just like, I use uh, the plaster instead of use it for sculpture, I may, it's, it's a little bit more like using pigments yeah. and mixing it. Mixing pigments it into a binder and kind of. Very paper. thick yeah. painting there you go. or something okay. like that. Okay, great. So I think the, it's a little different now and... So you just want to thin it and so it's... Uh, do you, you want it to be kind of evenly mixed throughout the yeah. water? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if there's some, how you say... Like chunks it, or chunks, lumpy... Chunks, yeah, exactly. Kind of, yeah. Uh, it will... You can see the final version, but it will kind of uh, make it uneven, the surface uneven. Oh, okay. Because when, when you take it out of the, the form, uh, and it's still, it's not uh, totally, it's, it's kind of chunked. There will be some kind of cr like craters in it. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because it, no, uh, no plaster Can is kind of attached. Break through the surface. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that could be great also, but yeah. Okay. So you should just know that and then do it. I don't Yeah, yeah. and then just kind of play with it. Yes. Well, we've said before in other episodes that it is kind of an important part of the process to have these moments of failure because you kind of learn. Yeah. Like you learn that you, if you want these cratering effects that you can kind of have thick areas and if you want it to be smooth and I'm sure that you learn through trying and failing that like certain, like using the Econoline or like a touche mm. really gives you kind of a dispersed color yeah. whereas the other one gives you more of a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of, uh, Econoline, it kind of dries out into the surface yeah. when it's the form totally dry. Okay. Okay, but cool. maybe we should try mix. Sure. Mix, uh, yeah, yeah. So, how can what we do, do need, it? Need the, the water, water up, maybe? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Could you just maybe like this? That much? Yeah. Just I can say stop. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Then I, I prefer wearing gloves and I would recommend that because one is that the hands get really dry. It's not very healthy, healthy for your skin, but it's also very messy and you have to run to, the, kind of, to get some paper all the time and stuff like that. So I think it's easier to work with gloves. Another thing is that this kind of painting is really difficult to get off your hands. It's yeah, I'm sure. It just absorbs into the skin. Yeah. Which I think is a really, it, it, that's a really important thing to think about, especially working with chemicals like this, is mm, that... The pigments is not good for you. Yeah, they're really not good for you. So you should sure. really think about wearing gloves if you're, if you're doing this at home. Mm. Um, so that, well, also you don't want to have colored, like crazy colored skin. And in your insides should not yeah. be colored either. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. nobody wants a colored inside. And actually, the best thing would also be to wear some kind of uh, dust uh, shield or whatever. Yeah. 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 But uh, I forgot mine today, so let's just. Uh, not Do you want an apron it. so you don't get everything all over you? Oh yeah, maybe yeah. we should bring. Uh, we should put this one off. Okay. On. So we'll just throw these on. Yeah. Again, that's I think that's really a good. Shameless advertisement. Yeah. All right. We'll. It's done. So, and then, um, yeah, I should, I think this actually it okay. would be easier for me to use this one today. So you can use whatever you want. You can use your hand, so you can kind of flip it over or what you want. But just add a 
about two parts of plaster Oof. and one part of water. You can just dip back it if no, you I'll want to. Back. That's good. You really get a lot of different kind of fumes and yeah. stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and we then, can like, just walk away. Like and, you were yeah. saying, it, it really is good to wear a dust mask. Yeah, you it's do. not good to breathe in a lot of plaster. And actually, also to remember, not this one maybe because it doesn't really stick to you, to your skin, but some kind of uh, goggle or yeah, that's eye really protection. good. Okay. Uh, I actually have a kind of something with my eyes because I once got some of this into it. Oh wow! Because it's very alkaline. Yeah. It's, so it's it's really not good. But you don't have to be, it's also that if you have all these kind of protections, you don't have to be like scared or just relax in the process. That's yeah. really, I think, the main part of it. Yeah, so. the, I think most art practices, you shouldn't actually, like, obviously a lot of people are scared of the process, yeah. but it really is that, you know, it's not a scary process. It's something that's actually quite easy. You just have to take precautions and be, be mindful of, you know, the materials that you're using and yeah. and how they can be dangerous. Yeah. Um, so now I just stir it together like, you know. Can you see it yeah, in here? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whoosh. Just and I can see it needs a little bit more yeah, plaster a little bit more. now. Yeah. So I can add some. You can put a little bit more in it. Yeah. Let me just grab this, this one. Yeah. Also because in the end you, I will add a little bit more of the painting and it's kind of juicy and watery, so. That's fine. Is that enough? Yeah. If it gets a little too thin, you think it's okay, maybe it could be a little bit more thick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should, it, it really makes much, diff it's, it's not a problem because it will dry in the end, but just be aware of if it, you know, even more, even thicker it is, uh, the harder it, it, it is. Okay. okay. So it's more, if it's very, uh, thin, it's more fragile, I have experienced, so. So when you're mixing, are you always mixing with a spoon or sometimes do you mix with your hands or? Um, I. Or other, like, is there a power at, tool at, or? Yeah, at the studio I actually mix with my hands. Okay. Because uh, I can just go and rinse it off or, yeah. you know, dry. Don't put it in the sink anyway, but. Yeah, I guess that's an important thing is yeah. if you're ever working with plaster, do not put it in your sink. Otherwise, you, it'll no longer be a sink. It'll just be a big Destroy bucket. Destroy it, yeah. yeah. So, All right. I think maybe... Yeah, I think that's fine. Good. I will yeah. just... And just to be sure, there's no chunks, or what do you call Because you want it... To, yeah, chunks. Hmm. Yeah. You don't want... Parts, dry little, parts. Um, yeah. Yeah. You want to make sure it's kind of even... Uh, just, you can compare it again with the bread. You know, yeah. if you don't... If you have these... Flour, how do you say it? Yeah, yeah flour, flour yeah. Uh, clumps, it will be weird. Yeah. You know, after it. So, okay. great. So, I'll just take this one off. Like this. And mix it with the color. I do oh, wow. something like this. And then stir it a bit. And you can you could do it uh, very high and or low or whatever you feel like. Yeah. It is interesting because you know because you're casting and you're casting in all these really they're Random. really common. Yeah, but they're also common. Like yeah. they're very much like something that you can find at a shop or there's yeah. something that's super. It's very ex accessible. Like it's a very kind of yeah. accessible way of, of working. You don't have to build. You no. have to build something fancy to then make the form. And actually, just uh, as uh, Søren said before, mm -hmm. I think that accessibility or that you can yeah. just do things and see uh, yeah. kind of in a hurry, see what, what's, uh, how it will look or you don't have to uh, know a special kind of art uh, shop or how do you say yeah. it, for, for uh, yeah. ingredients for artists. You can just use very, really like t the, the shop Tiger. Or yeah. Yeah, tea. You tea can buy yeah. many of these uh, materials there. So yeah, well, I just uh, do this, shake it a little to get all the, the air bubbles out of it. Okay. So you're basically just marbling, kind of actually again with CERN, like yeah. you're turning this into like a marbled surface yeah. of some sort. Okay. I do it because you you uh, this is 
actually the, the, the um, how you say the downside. Okay. So the top is the downside. Okay. In, it's we are a making side that the, you won't see. Yeah, yeah, basically. or just in the middle because yeah. it's two parts uh, make it made out of two parts. So uh, I actually try to kind of take the the color to the sides. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so you, then I you can have also as much color as yeah. possible. But I could also mix it even more, and it will be a, like a pastel blue or something like that. Uh, so okay. I just try to keep some white in it and some kind of diversity. Yeah. And just to make another gesture, I yeah. add uh, in the end. I add this ink and. I don't mix it that much. I just do something like this. And you said that this will actually naturally work its way out to the yeah. edges? Yeah. Okay. So when it dries, and, and this form would, will dry in maybe one month or something, totally out, like no water, or maybe two months, depending on the, the weather and stuff like that. Um, at that time, the color, the pink or the purple here, yeah. will, will be more in the surf, like almost like a batik color or something oh, like wow. that. Yeah, okay. very, uh, yeah. almost like this color actually. But right now when it's kind of, yeah, when it's wet, it's more gray and more, okay. yeah. Just mix it a little bit more, yeah. But I have made this one before, but as, yeah, it will never be the same. It will always be a little different. Well, that's so. beautiful. That's a kind of a nice thought. Is that every, like you can constantly be reusing the same forms, but every time it's yeah. something completely different. Though also, they're all yeah. relatable to each other. It's almost as if kind they tell of, a story a little bit. Yeah, they have some kind of the same letters mm -hmm. or language. But yeah. even though also the detail, like for every time I use this bucket, there will be some kind of scratches. Oh, and okay. It will yeah. kind of break. Yeah, break down or like it, yeah. de it destroyed itself yeah. in, in a way. <laughs> so everyone so. really does have a completely different surface. Yes. Okay. It has. I guess that is the advantage of also working in like a plastic material because mm -hmm. as you're moving the material around and trying to break it out, and I noticed that you don't use anything. Um, we, we, I mean, it's a release. You don't use any sort of wax or you don't use any sort of oil or anything. Mm -hmm. So once this <clears throat> sexually dries. You yeah. can just kind of pop it out and almost like a jelly mold. Yeah, I can show. I, normally, it, it sticks. I have another one. It sticks to the the form, and then I can, if I don't fill it totally up, I only have like yeah. in this. I can. It's it's kind of made for just like a baking form, like this one. Oh, okay. or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But because it's a little bit more flexible material. Ah, okay. I can have it out and. And it just pops yeah, right out. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Mm? Um, so. Great. That's fantastic. So, how long will this? How long will this stay in the mold? Do you keep it in the mold for two months? No, it will harden in twenty minutes. Okay. So you can't work with it anymore. Okay. And then after a day, I will take it out okay. and dry, because it's, you know, if if the surface is cover, covered covered, mm -hmm. it, it will take even more time to dry. So. Just get it out up on something. Okay. Like, Possibly, in, hopefully in the sun, maybe. Yeah, yeah in so. your I have in my um, in my window, you know, yeah. area there. Yeah. Okay. I can have it all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, great. So uh, I guess we'll let this sit for a day and pop it out and see how it looks. Yeah. And then uh, let's can we show let's the. Let's turn the clock and yeah, now we'll it's turn tomorrow. Turn the clock exactly. So then tomorrow, if <gasps> we had made. Yeah. Something like this. Maybe yeah. if I have made two of them. Yeah. Because actually this one is only... Is only the one side? This one. Okay. So you can see it like this. Or ah, yeah. Maybe like this. And so these areas are... That's the, that's the failures. Really thick. Yeah. <laughs> that's Which where, where you don't uh, have mixed... That is acrylic paint. Okay. That's yeah. just pure acrylic paint. Yeah. And it is amazing because if you look at the surface, there really isn't, there's like little to no mm -hmm. purple. It yeah. really does, it, it, it's interesting that it draws all the way out to the sides. Yeah. So. So I probably this one will be even more pink okay. in a way, I think. Because like it, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. 
you can't. This one is especially very green, blue. And that's just from mixing, yeah. mixing it in more. And maybe and I have, I think I have just kind of tried to make it more flat. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so, okay, that makes sense. But this is not, it's not ready for that yet. Yeah. Mm. Okay, well, fantastic. And then to say that I kind of work in series, so this is just a little part of a larger probably series. installations. Okay. And so, yeah, this one is another kind of, but very often I use them, I combine the, the, the material and, yeah. and also the, the small sculptures. So for okay. me, I think it's really interesting with that room in there. Yeah. That's really how I would like to you know, normally kind of, install that yeah. many items together. And so they yeah. all work both individually as pieces yeah. and then they can be put together to create other pieces. Yeah. So and yeah, they, every time they change. Exactly. And it's okay. kind of a potential, isolated potential that you can work with in and combine with uh, different kind of rooms and different kind of also uh, artists yeah. that is like other works of artists. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Well, it's interesting to think that the parts of a whole are just as important as the whole. Like they can mm. all exist on their own, but they only become more interesting and more powerful as they kind of multiply. Mm. Um, it's a little bit like music or letters and yeah. you know that a bass could be very interesting but it's the, like the, the symphony or what you call it yeah. that makes it makes it even more dynamic yeah okay. yeah 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 I guess I guess these round pieces that are on the screen would be the same way like yeah. individually they're quite interesting but together they start to have a there's a dialogue between them yeah so which will be amazing if we can get everybody to then <laughs> yes. make their own versions and we can start kind of putting them all together and seeing how they can all talk to each other and then also talk with the other works within the exhibition. Exactly. So, well, so, yeah. Johanna, thank you so much for this. It was really great. Um, I love the process. They're really quite beautiful. Um, and the serendipity, like this kind of like accidental magic of these areas is really amazing. Um, and I look forward to seeing kind of what happens as the exhibition grows over mm. time. So thanks so much. Thank you so it. much.